everybody. I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on today's launch edition, right, of the Honda S2000. We are talking about future collectible cars here, in my opinion, right? And of course, I can't predict the future, but here's what I'll tell you. Low production, low mileage, excellent condition, part race car, part Honda DNA. Honda is a race leader, right? Around the world, uh, their F1, those kinds of uh, race sanctioning that they're into are winning all the time for them. And they put that DNA into this car here. I ride motorcycles once in a while. And this car here has what's like a motorcycle engine, man. That, that rev is amazing. It spins up, the sound it makes. When you drive one, it will change you. It is a sports car. Don't even, don't even think about a Miata at the track. Don't even think about a Miata. You get something like this, right, if you wanted to, and enjoy it there, and that is so much fun. All right, anyway, let's take a walk around, see the condition of the car, because that's the most important thing when you're thinking about buying a previously owned car. What is the condition of it? And we're gonna share that with you right now. All right, so why do Steele and I love this car? Because this car, well, <laughs> see, you see how excited he was? My goodness, you can tell them how excited you were. Anyway, stock wheels, right? All original paint, uh, stock interior, stock stereo, stock everything. It's an unmolested, what I see, that's the way you become uh, an instant classic and collectible, right? We look at the quality of this car and it shines under these harsh lights here. Look how excited he is, I've never seen him so thrilled. He just loves this car. Uh, although we won't let him go for a drive in it, uh, that's another opinion about how great this car is. So what I do like to do is talk about uh, things, the quality of the paint and the paint on this car is really nice. You can definitely tell that this car has been garaged, covered and loved its entire life. Come here and check this out. Uh, look how nice and clear you can read every letter in there, right? And you wanna make sure that you can do that. When you can do that, you know you have good paint. When the letters are cloudy and funky, pictures lie, man, pictures they can make whatever they want, the video can't. And that's why you want everybody to do a video for you. All right, so why is it called an S2000, right? It's a sports, sports 2000, right? Year 2000 sports. However, that's not really why. All right here, this, they took motorcycle DNA where you're getting 200 horsepower uh, out of one liter motorcycles right now, and they made it a little bit more uh, livable here inside a car uh, instead of having a 13 or 15,000 RPM a red line on a motorcycle. This has a 9,000 RPM red line in a car, right? Rear wheel drive, not front wheel drive, super light components. But why, what, while you're watching this video, you already know it's a great car. But this one in particular is what we want to talk about, and that is the condition of this car. It is beautiful under the hood. This has not been a foul weather car or somebody's daily driver. This was a, a vacation car or a weekend car or something like that. And you know, like it still has the original panels on it. It hasn't been in an accident, for instance, like the hood still has its original decals there, right? Original decals up front here. We're looking for those kinds of things to see if components have been replaced and they have not. This is show worthy. You could go to a show, open the hood and people will see what the legendary uh, 2.0 looks like. All right, so the back end of this car with dual exhaust, because most four-cylinder cars do not have dual exhaust, right? This makes a lot of power. It needs to flow and sound good, and it does all of those things. You need this. Why do you need this? Because these cars can hit uh, over 140 miles an hour. Uh, some modified versions, you know, can go to 160, 170, which is crazy, right? You need to keep that back down on the ground. Fuser underneath. But what I was really impressed with, right, is the condition of the car. And then I found this inside. And this right here says to me the whole next level. You say, well, Tony, it's just a car cover, who cares? Agreed, but this car was garaged and it was covered. So it was like double protected. That means a person that owned this car is exactly the person you are as well. They wanted to take care of this car. They wanted it to be the nicest car possible. And that's exactly what you're getting here. All right, so if you walk up to this car, it is a beautiful looking car. That's why I like to do this one shot here. As you see the car, you walked up to it, you go, you know what, man, that is a great looking car, all right? But really where it shines as well is right here in the cockpit, and it is a driver's cockpit. Let's get in here and let's talk and see what that means. So for instance, I'm 6'1", right? And I didn't want to close steel on the door. Uh, I'm 6'1", and I fit in here like, like I'm supposed to. Like this is a sports car and the shifter is right here close to me and just like a nice notch, click, click. Stereo system hidden in here, the original Honda stereo system. That's what I mean by future collectible. Like it's 
an unmolested car, other than the wearable items like maybe wiper blades, tires, brake pads, stuff like that. Everything is the way it came out of the factory. The dash is nice and crystal clear with the 9,000 RPM red line looking you right in the face, right in the face hole, uh, and the sound that it makes as it winds up. And then the comfort features of like air conditioning and a power convertible top, and uh, it has cruise control and those kinds of things. Make for a daily driver as well if you wanted to, but it's just an awesome, awesome weekend car. Fits so well, runs so well, and just is, uh, I don't know, it's, it's really their pride and joy. All right, so we're talking about a supercar. You say, well, Tony, how can this car be a supercar? Well, let's talk about it for a second, right? We're talking about two liters making 240 horsepower, so that's over over one horsepower per liter. That's the magic goal of every manufacturer, right? Uh, incredible suspension, 9,000 RPM redline, amazing interior, right? And then some creature comforts as well. So you could use this car. It does have air conditioning and it does have uh, a power top and it has all of the nice things that you would expect in a car. Not to mention it's a rare one, right? 2,116 red cars built, that's it. How many are left? How many are low mileage like this car? That's what I mean when I say future collectible. Anyway, call us 301 816 1000. We'll tell you all about this Honda S2000. And if you would, please don't forget to like the video down below. That helps us out a lot. And subscribe to the channel. I think that uh, you'll find some new content coming out all the time. And please share this with your friends as well. And I will see you on the test drive. All right, so we're taking the S2000 out. And I have to tell you, if you've never driven one, it is really super, super driver focused. Uh, the handling is amazing, right? The handling is amazing. However, what's really great is when the power comes on and the cam shift over. Like, look at this around the corners. And it sounds like the engine's working, but we're only at 6,000 RPM. We have up to 9,000 to go to. And it just sticks right to the road around the corner we go. Boom, and down the hill. And then we're on to uh, this area of the road that T and I love. He usually screams most of the time. We take that out of the video because he, you know, it doesn't sound good when he does it. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the test drive. This, I'm telling you, is a game changer. Once you get in this car and drive it, you'll be connected to maybe some more happiness and get yourself a smile just like this. All right, I'll see you on the next test drive.